Dr. Jason Pickell, and I practice here in Overland Park, Kansas, where our practice is focused primarily on chronic pain and chronic conditions. Now, today's video is on fibromyalgia, and if you're watching this, you or a loved one is most likely suffering from fibromyalgia, and you most likely know a lot of those pains and symptoms that go along with that, um, such as the all-over body aches and pains, almost like having the flu 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, the heart palpitations, the digestive problems, possibly thyroid issues. Um, the list goes on and on, like the, the fibro fog, almost like you can't think straight, that disconnected feeling. Now, with all of those symptoms, you've most likely gone to uh, quite a few different doctors. And some of those doctors have examined you, uh, run you through some different tests. A lot of those tests are most likely normal, or there's been some of the tests that they've used different medications for you. Uh, or some of them have checked some tender points, where if you had 11 out of 14 of those tender points, you were told, okay, you might have fibromyalgia. Now, typically the treatment regimen, and, and you've all been to the majority of these doctors, where you go in, you tell them all these symptoms, uh, and they're, they barely make eye contact with you the whole time, and basically write you a script and send you on your way, and if that doesn't work, uh, come back and we'll try something else. And this is what's happening with a lot of these new medications. And most patients are being put on antidepressants, painkillers, anti-inflammatories, uh, possibly some injections, possibly even surgeries. Um, the list goes on and on with that also. So we can't continue down that traditional road. It, it's basically a road to nowhere because you're just left living a life of taking medications uh, to just sustain this level that's all the way down here of, of living. Um, so again, we've got to take a step back. We've got to look at the whole picture. We can't just look at your heart. We can't just look at your digestive tract. We can't just look at your thyroid or, your, or different areas. We've got to look at the whole thing and look at it all at once and find out what is causing this. Because the vast majority of research out there today shows that fibromyalgia is not a muscle problem. I know this is a shocking news to you, but it is not a muscle problem. It's a neurological issue. And this isn't pharmaceutical research. And the other reason I know this is because the vast amount of patients that we've treated with this newer research, uh, we've been able to get results with those patients. So if you would like more information on fibromyalgia and what we do about it, then go to this list to the side uh, enter your information and we'll send you some free information. Thank you.